25 million indigenous people uh, living here in Mexico. I believe that makes up about 21% of the total population of Mexico. Yep. And it's highly concentrated uh, here in Chiapas, uh, also in Oaxaca and states of like Yucatan, Parts Quintana Roo, Puebla. Parts of Puebla, but very concentra highly concentrated here in Southern Mexico. And we are very excited to visit, <laughs> visit two of these indigenous communities. We have just arrived to the town of Chamula and it is already extremely fascinating. Uh, a few of the most interesting facts that I can remember from our guide Miguel on the way over here is that people from outside of Chamula, people that were not born in Chamula, cannot live in Chamula. Yeah, they can't open businesses, you can't move here if you're from a different city, you have to be indigenous and born here in yeah. Chamula. Yeah, not only just indigenous, but in you have to be have native. Been, yeah, native from Chamula, not native to Chiapas, not native right. to the area, but native to Chamula. The, uh, they basically have their own rules, their own law, their own yep. uh, police officers. The, uh, uh, the regular state police are not allowed. Federales are not allowed in this area. Fascinating. It's like an entire. It's its own. It's its own world. It's its own world with yeah. its own community, its own laws, which we've seen to a degree, but not to this extent. We just had the opportunity and privilege to step inside the main church here in Chamula and uh, you're not allowed to take pictures or even have your camera out. We had to pack it all away and for good reason. It was the most unique, most different church I've ever seen, yeah. ever. Um, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Like Greg said, it's unlike, there are no pews. Mm -hmm. It's nothing like any sort of normal church. I feel like it was absolutely jaw-dropping i feel like yeah. we walked in everyone in our group just stopped in amazement and i think it's really interesting because at first we felt sad that we couldn't bring you guys in but then i started to think that this is probably one of the most sacred places that we've ever seen in mexico because there are no photos because there are no mm -hmm. videos of this place it feels very very sacred and for the families that are in there worshiping i uh. feel thankful that there aren't people traipsing around taking photos so right. although we couldn't bring you guys along um i hope that you're able to recognize and appreciate that that was a very sacred moment for for us yes and and to give you an idea of what made it so different though you walk in and the church is smoky there's probably a thousand candles all in the ground all in the ground and very similar to like dia de muertos and in Pátzcuaro, uh with families gathered around each uh set of candles performing uh rituals almost similar to altars it was like similar each family altars. had their own little altar uh -huh. of candles that they had set up um as well as something with chicken yeah there was chicken there are like sacrifices so yeah that was that was a, an experience it, you have to you just if you come to if you come to Chiapas visiting Chamula and visiting this church it has to be at the top of your list We have now made it to the uh, village of Sinacantan. Sinacantan. I believe it, is, it seems so very different already in the language and customs and culture. Whereas in Chamula, uh, the main industry was uh, farming. Uh -huh. Here it's more textiles, which you can see a little bit behind me, and flowers. Driving in, there was tons and tons and tons Flower of uh, flowers. We heard uh, roses, roses, roses. <laughs> roses. <laughs> are one peso a piece. Okay.
watching someone make something by hand is always so incredible. And she's making, she's on her knees doing that. I'm squatting down just to get this picture and I'm, my legs are tired already. This isn't a, how do you say what this is? Like a, it's similar to what we saw with Vicente working with the, with a, it's like a loom. But this isn't a loom with pedals. She's doing it all by hand. It's a, wow. Hillary's, Hillary's getting dressed in some type of traditional wear. I'm not exactly sure for what, but maybe. I don't know. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Que bonita. Wow. A la una, a la dos, a la tres. Va. Chao. Every single thing is homemade, nothing from a machine. They make it all themselves, uh, you know, old school styles. They don't, I just, everything tastes so much better when, when uh, you know, the, the tortillas are, are handmade, not from a machine, they're hand from, <laughs> handmade from the, the corn that they grew themselves. Uh, this, this is my head. unfortunately come to an end uh, we always wish for more time I'm sure you guys can relate to that yeah. but uh, what we've learned through our travels and especially it's apparent today is that a little time is better than no time at all yes yeah, so, I mean just being able to to visit these two communities for you know several hours uh, you know we just barely dove into it just barely scratched the surface of what uh, life in indigenous communities is but really my profound thought for the day <laughs> as we we're going through this tour I just couldn't help but thinking how interested and excited and how much people want to go see the pyramids and Chichen Itza yep. and, and Teotihuacan and Palenque to see what your ancestors made, see what the indigenous the yeah. Mexicans built. They're idolized. And those sites are, yeah, they're idolized and they're often built up and yeah, exactly, we idolize them. Yet, we often forget about the indigenous people that are still living here today, that are still making a profound impact on Mexico and, and on their individual communities. And uh, that's sad, so I urge you, whether you live in Mexico or you're visiting Mexico, you have to visit indigenous communities and you have to get to know this part of Mexico. Because again, 21% of all people that live in Mexico are indigenous, so to ignore that is ignoring a fifth of the country, right. just over a fifth of the country. So, I don't that, know. We had a great day today. We hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us. Amigos, until next time, have less, do more, be more. Bye-bye.